going on everyone? So, as you can tell from the title, the Ark is finally, finally back. So she's definitely not, uh, she, she's not in the shape she once was. Uh, this car has been gone for quite some time. I actually got the car back yesterday and I've already done quite a bit of work to it. So, before I talk about what I've already done, I just want to show you guys the car as a whole, obviously right this second it doesn't look too bad from the camera, but as we come over here, you can really see she uh, she's not looking too great. The front tires are also flat, can't really tell because it's jacked up, but she's, uh, she's looking pretty rough. The paint is very dull right here. I, I'm hoping just a good wash and buff and polish will fix that up, but one thing I am a little bit triggered about Oh, can't see the other one. There's a small one right there as well. That's what you get when the car sits out in the Arizona sun for like almost two years straight. So, a little bit butthurt about that, but I might end up just wrapping, wrapping, excuse me, wrapping the roof black or maybe even carbon fiber. My dad recommended that to me last night and that sounds like a really good idea. But yeah, so obviously, uh, cosmetically, she's gonna need a good wash and detail, but besides that, she's all good. Now let's talk about mechanically. So yesterday I spent a few hours, I did an oil change first off, and then I also got a new battery. I've not tried to start it yet, uh, actually getting it back here, we pretty much just jumped it enough to get the car in the on position, put it in the neutral, and rolled it everywhere. Uh, so it hasn't been started yet. Starting is actually something I'm going to do before this video ends, or I shouldn't say starting it. Trying to start it is going to be something I'm going to do before this video ends. But like I said, uh, oil change, battery, and fan shroud is in two pieces. So the fan shroud is in two pieces, the radiator, the bottom of it, now you can't really see, I guess you can a little bit, is pushed in. So I have a new fan shroud and radiator that should hopefully be here uh, by the time this video goes up and I'll probably film installing that. So now I guess uh, it's time to hook the battery up and hope it starts because I had it hooked up to a different car that was running for about five minutes yesterday and I could barely even get those three windows to roll down. So it was clearly the battery was not having it. It was completely done. So hopefully the new battery will give this car the life it needs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this connected and then see if there's anything else I wanna do before I try and start it. So battery is connected. Let's uh, see if we've got actual power now. God, I just remembered how much I hate this shitty display in the 03 to 06 models. Yep, it's lit up, it's lit, 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 it's lit up, light it up. Hey, there we go. Took a second, but we got it. See if radio works. There we go. All right. Stability control failure. Okay. That could be a. Uh... On star ready. No, nope, I accidentally hit the on star button. Your right. number is That's... one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Okay. Let me go back to listening to Post Malone now. So let me just say real quick before I try to start this, I'm actually going to pull a couple fuses because I've been told that might be better for the engine if I do that. But before I do that, I just want to mention again that uh, this little thing right here is, I wish I had that in the Turbo X. I love this little display up here. So it's been a few hours. I've actually been editing and uploading the video that you guys saw right before this one. So we're going to disconnect first the coil packs and second, the fuse for the fuel pump, and then we're gonna crank it to get everything and try and start it. So, fingers crossed that'll work. Let's get to it. So the fuse for the fuel pump is out right here. It's this 20 amp one right in here. So I'm gonna put this in a safe spot. And now we'll uh, take that little cover off right here and disconnect the coil pack.
So coil packs are all disconnected, fuse is out. Let's try to crank her here for like three or four seconds. I actually literally just did this and I realized the camera wasn't recording. So I'm gonna do it again for the sake of the video. Okay, there, I did it, you guys saw. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna, something's gonna blow up if I keep doing it. So we're ready to start it, hopefully it starts. I'm gonna put an angle out here, just in case it shoots some stuff out. I made like this makeshift little like shield thing so it doesn't spray everywhere. Uh, I'm gonna put a camera out here and then I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna use my phone to record in the car. So fingers crossed, let's do this. running. Back to my actual camera now. It ran, when it first started, the whole car shook for about like five or 10 seconds. Like not like violently, but it was shaking. Like you could tell it was struggling to uh, like idle there or whatever. And it smoothed out after that. It's completely fine now. It's idling exactly how it should be. I mean, for a car that sat for this long, literally changed the battery. I, I, I technically didn't even have to change the oil. And for it to just start, just like that. And it, it, it didn't labor a ton to start, it just pretty much right away. I mean, that's that's incredible. I am so happy. So now obviously needs new fans and a radiator. That radiator is not leaking at all, so it can run like this for now. But once it reaches temperature, I'll shut it off, maybe rev it a little bit for fun. But yeah, this gas, uh, this gas smells terrible. Besides that, guys, we're looking pretty damn good. All right, screw it. It's, it's close enough. We're just gonna rev it a little bit. So before I roll into the outro of this video, it is a couple days later, I just wanted to say a couple things. First off, I picked up an aero steering wheel yesterday for the car, so video will be coming on that soon. And secondly, I've started the car up probably like three or four times since that first start that I filmed, and every time it started up flawlessly with no problem. So you know, completely normal. It's great. Still haven't driven it yet, obviously, but it's running completely normally, exactly how it should be. So now I'll get to the outro of this video. So she started up, she ran pretty much flawlessly. Like I said, I'm just amazed. I am getting the uh, stability control failure message, which I'm gonna have looked at by Tech 2, most likely by the time this video's up. And then uh, by the time this video's up, I'll probably also just about be being getting my uh, fans and radiator. So I'll be filming all of that. And then at that point, I mean, she's gonna be road ready again. So I'm really excited, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited to see some ARC content back on this channel because I know that most of you 9.3 owners that are watching don't have a Turbo X. And you always ask, well, where's the ARC? Well, guess what? It's finally back. I am so excited. She's gonna need a lot of work still, but it's gonna be fun and I'm really excited. So with that being said, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. I'll see you next time.